Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Idea Spot. Today we are going to be talking about events calendars in WordPress and how do we display upcoming events on our WordPress website. So I'm going to be looking at a few different options that you've got. When you search for events in the plugins in WordPress, you're going to come up with uh, these options. Now, the most popular one is the events calendar that's used on 700,000 active installations, but we're also going to look at Events Manager, Modern Events Calendar Lite, uh, Timely, and we're going to have a look at WP Event Manager as well. So these are probably my top five. Um, let's start with the most popular one. Now, 700,000 active installations. The reason it has so many is because there are some premium themes that integrate this free plugin into their theme. So uh, if we go to Theme Forest, you can actually search Events Calendar Pro. It's used in Avada, Enfold, The Seven, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, let's take it Avada for example. There's this Avada Church setup where you can display the Events Calendar event list like this, and they have different layouts. So there's List View, Calendar View, Day View. You can have a featured event. And that all works straight out of the box. So I think Avada is $60. And if you've already got it, then this is probably the quickest and cleanest way of approaching your solution. So that's one way. The other way is you could do this for free by putting a couple add-ons, a couple free add-ons, the event calendar short code and templates and the events calendar search add-on. And this means you could use the events calendar with, with practically any theme and you can use the cert, these um, short codes and you can put the event listing wherever you like on your page. So um, this is what I was able to do in Astro using Elementor. Um, I just set up two demo events. They make a nice little formatted list and you've got a nice search bar here where you can search for events. So that was pretty quick to set up. I'll just give you a quick overview of how that worked. Um, if you install this uh, event calendar shortcode, you go to your page builder in, in WordPress, you can just uh, go ahead and add in um, the events calendar shortcode. And that will let you, it'll give you something like that. And you can build up a I'll just remove that one. You can build up how would you like to display your event. So the free version gives you just uh, two different layouts, a list layout and a timeline layout. Uh, the paid version, I think is $29. You'll get a grid layout, a carousel, a slider, and maybe some other ones there as well. But um, each one has three different styles as well. So once you've, once you've uh, chosen your options, you can take that short code and put that into Elementor or you can just publish your post in Gutenberg um, block builder here and that will work as well. But um, you can just copy that out. And then in Elementor, we just use the, uh, the short code widget. Where's our short code widget? And there we go. You just put that, that short code widget in and then paste in that code. And then you'll end up with the list of events. So that's pretty easy to integrate. Same with the um, search bar. It was a similar process. All you do is get that uh, search sort short code and paste it in. Um, a little bit of those formatting options can be modified in the events plugin settings. So you've got template settings here. So you can choose some colors and your... Um, your typeface and, and, and font size here, colors. That's all in the free version. So that's that's pretty decent. Um, the mobile layout is, is totally fine as well. So it's fully responsive straight out of the box. I didn't have to do anything special and it looks okay on mobile. Um, like I said before, it's just like adding a page or a post. You can add a new event and I've just added a couple there. Um, it's like uh, you just type in your description. It'll generate a URL for your event. 
um, you'll want to add a featured image and you can do all the uh, event details. And so you'll end up with something like this. You'll have your title and the date and time, your description. They'll put the details down there as well. And you can export to Google and iCalendar. So pretty simple. Um, like I said before, the free version, you've got uh, list style one. It looks like this. And list style two, is which is what I was actually using. Um, again, they've got their short code here on the website. So if you like this layout, you can just copy the short code and, and paste it in. And there's style three. It doesn't have any images, so it's a bit uh, more tidy. And then our timeline options. We can have a timeline layout as well, if that's what you'd like. And again, they have three different timeline styles. The third one doesn't have images and all pretty good for free. And here's your search bar. You just use that short code like I used before in Elementor or Gutenberg, if that's what you're using. Um, like I said, if you go ahead and buy this for $29, you're going to get this grid layout. You're going to get a carousel and these nice sliders. So that's not, it's not a huge price to pay. Um, again, $29 using it with any free, uh, any free theme or page builder. It's not a bad way of doing things, but if you have a premium theme like, uh, Avada or Enfold, you don't need to do that. You could probably just use whatever they've integrated. So that covers our first one. Um, that was uh, the events calendar. So now let's go ahead and look at uh, maybe um, WP Event Manager. So that wraps up the first video in our event series. Don't forget to hit like and hit subscribe because I'm going to be back with more videos about displaying events in WordPress. Thanks.